Hey guys, what's up? It's Paradox Steel, and um, today I'm gonna be making like a tips and tricks video on um, trick shotting. Well, you guys requested this, so I'm gonna start off. I just kind of want to bring up like the categories of trick shotting and the styles. So, the primary style is this a style where you grind for shots and you like keep continuously doing the same type of shot over and over again, and then. The other one is just where you kind of like run around the map and then you do combos in random spots or just do normal trick shots in random spots as you run around the map. That one tends to be more interesting, but I personally think like grinding the one spot is more effective. And then under those two categories, there's two um, types of things. There's combo shots, which tend to work a lot better if you're grinding for a specific spot than if you're just running around the map. And they also look better in the end. And then there's just simple like normal trick shots. So. I'm going to go over both of these, but I'm going to go into them more in depth into individual videos on how to combo trickshot and how to normal trickshot. So, um, just b basically the basics is for combo trickshotting, there's stuff where you jump off and you do stuff like that all in the air. And then there's this thing called NSL. And you see what NSL is, is where you go up here, and I'm probably going to do a slow-mo of this and then cut back to the actual clip. So I'm going to run up here real quick, um, find a spot, okay. This, this would be NSL, so you do just a ton of random stuff, and then you have to time your jump off so it looks good. Like, you, you need to time your jump so that you actually jump off the building and not just behind you. And for that, so for NSL, basically, you want to do a majority of your combo in the air. However, that will give you a little extra boost for your clip. Like, you'll be able to add, like, maybe one or two extra things with NSL. You could even add a ton of stuff, but if you're on the ground too long, it'll look kind of ugly. Um, so that's NSL. Helps a lot. Um, it's... Okay, a lot of people think that's so easy because you're, like, on the building and stuff. But if you don't actually time your spins right, um, you won't be able to do the NSL properly. So you really need to practice the timing and all that stuff. And in reality, I think normal trick shotting like that is harder. Um, now for normal trick shots, and, and for any trick shots in general, I'm trying to point out, you want your st spins to be slow and consistent. So you don't want them to go too fast. You don't want them to go too slow. You just want you want them to be slow enough that you're consistent with it, but it's not too uncomfortably slow. For instance, I'm gonna go for a normal 360 right here. With, this is what most people normally do. And, I mean, that's kind of clean as a non-stop, but if I just go like, like that, I see a lot of that stuff on barriers, it just doesn't look good. But then also, if you go like that, it's too slow, you're gonna land before you do that, and it just doesn't look too great. So you kind of want to get like a good balance. So you're doing like a clean spin and all that stuff. Um, so that's basically it. You don't want to have your spin like accelerate or decelerate in the air, you want it to stay slow and consistent. Um, that's something I know um, would be kind of interesting. And then, for combos, coming up with ideas. So, there's one thing. There's the reload, knife, shoot, swap, shoot. That's one. Then, let me just get another loadout real quick. Um, BFG M9 or something. Alright, this is kind of an ugly skin, but alright. Guess we'll just wait till the next match. Would have been nice if this Mirage game continued, but I don't know. So, I'll show an example of each of these, but there would be like a reload, knife, shoot, swap, shoot. There could be shooting a pistol a couple times, knifing, reloading, knifing. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the combos are based off of reloads and shoots, and shooting, and then swapping. There might be stuff here and there, like grenade swaps, I'll teach you guys how to do that. Um, there's stuff like the reload glitch, the um, zoom, the knack glitch, that's a pretty cool glitch. Um, but they, uh, you also, um, they, they all just revolve around mostly glitches and like just reloading and shooting and stuff. So another thing you kind of want to think about when you're going for these trick shots. You want a gun, a pistol, and a knife that look good together. And you want the combo to work with that knife. For instance, if you take a gun like... Um, if you take a gun like the Obras, and you want to do maybe like a bolt cancel like this, um, 
I personally would pick something like ASP Baton, or a Karambit sometimes, or a Machete, something like that, that kind of like slices downwards. That just personally makes my clip look more clean in my opinion. Um, whereas if you're using a shotgun, like a Serbu shotgun, maybe you want to do a... Yeah, maybe you want to do a normal knife, or maybe... Sometimes you could go crazy, actually. You could use, like, a Nordic War Axe or something. That just looks really funky and stuff, but you could work with it, and it would look pretty cool. Alright, so we just hid in that video. That is insane. Yes, let's go. Um, anyways, um... So yeah, and then we just suppress right after. Okay, anyways. Sorry, I lost my point. So you basically, essentially, you want all your guns and your entire loadout to actually, like, fit. You want it to make sense and just be interesting. Um, you don't want... Let me let me find something that would be bad. You don't want a deagle... You don't want to go, like, deagle chosen one. Oh, wait, this knife looks a lot different since last time. But, um, you don't want to do something stupid like this. I mean, you could work with them. It would probably be kind of interesting, but I, I can't really think of a bad setup right now. But anyways, yeah, you just need a good loadout. So that's basically all for the basics. Um, I'm gonna let you guys look at this, learn from it, and then you guys can ask in the comments, how can I improve it, making these commentaries. What should I tell you guys? What should I teach you guys? And that, that's pretty much all, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be going more in-depth into each of the styles later, but, um, yeah, peace.